hello, 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 hello. Hello, Rhino. Hello, unknown peep. Thank you for for um for for rating. Thank you. Um, <laughs> hello, Eclipse. Um, I don't know. I don't know what I was gonna say. I don't. But today, today is one of those days. Today's one of those days. Also, this game sounds way too loud for me. Still, I'm having to keep turning it down because it's just too loud to me but it could be my headset I don't know I don't know what this game even is I have what four or five games installed right now that I've had lined up to play this month don't knock twice Sophie's curse boogeyman 2 sinister Halloween and spooky's jump scare mansion and I've owned all of them for over a year and I've been waiting to play them god damn it <laughs> now we're playing a real scary game? Um... I don't know. I don't know anything about this, but no, Visage is definitely the real scary shit. Fuck that game. I am so glad we finished that game. Fuck it. But, well, let's go ahead and get this started. It's really odd, because there's no menu and stuff, so I wonder how old the game is. Like, originally. Like, there's no sound settings in the game, there's no... Uh... I don't know. I don't- I don't know. I don't know, guys. I don't know. Today is the I don't know day. Because today is just something. Today is just something. Oh, I am spooky. I have listened to this so many times already, trying to set up the fucking sound. And this is my home. Can you, humble player, make it through a thousand rooms? Can you find what lies at the end? Or is there even an end? Because I, I don't really know. Anyway, just, just go. Yeah, okay. But I literally have no clue what this game even is. I've had it that long, but I don't know. So I genuinely don't know what to expect from it? You know? Like, is it is it just a walking? Is it a puzzle? Is it... Hello, Sovereign. So small. What's so small? A bed? Okay. Why can't I jump in this game? Also, what is the green bar? Is it... Wait, what? Did I come from that one? Oh, I came from that one. Okay. It's a game. Yeah! I don't understand what the point of this game is yet. But then again, they said, can you make it through a thousand rooms? And we're only on room seven, so... Oh, it is stamina! I didn't even notice. I didn't even look up there when I ran. <laughs> didn't know we were playing a Souls game, though. I... Did you know? I have probably said... Oh, this room's good. Look at this room. I have played a smidgen of Dark Souls 3, and that's it. Just a smidgen. I've never played any of the other ones. at all. It's a bit of a puzzle, but a walkie walk. Wait, it's a bit if a puzzle, but if a walkie walk. <laughs> Probably shouldn't make fun of that, but I have spelt so many things so messed up today that I want to pick on other people. Every single time I tried to talk- ooh. At first this place just seemed cute, but I've been here for days now. I'm feeling quite parched now, and I keep getting this feeling like I'm being watched by something. This is not romantic at all. How do I get rid of the paper? Okay, that worked. 
Although it could be kind of romantic to go to a spooky place. You know, you find one of those haunted, haunted, I don't know, it could be a hotel, it could be a city, whatever. That could, that could be romantic, in a way. Perhaps. <laughs> I like how I'm like, now I'm contemplating. Oh, jeez, motherfucker, what the hell? It's just a little poof. <laughs> I just got so distracted with running, I didn't even notice. <laughs> I- I- well. This game is something else- I- yeah, I, I- I didn't know what the fuck to expect going into this. And you're supposed to go through a thousand of these? Hey there. <sighs> oh shit, you're right! Fuck me! Hold on. Hold on. Why didn't anyone else say that? Why is the window so small? I didn't someone do that? Hold on. That doesn't work. But I also don't know what the hell I've got selected, so... Hold on. I'm, I'm looking at my OBS. I have too many things in here. I haven't cleaned it up. Lock that. Why are there ghosts? Oh, it's paused. Okay. Lock those. Lock that. If everything is locked that I shouldn't be able to touch. I can do this. I can do this. Uh-oh. I can't do this. I can't do it! I can't make it any bigger. Oh shit. Oh shit on a stick. Why is everything today? Everything. Literally. I do that. There we go. That'll work. That'll work. It's close. It's not exact. It's not exact. It, it almost lines up. It almost lines up. We're, <laughs> we're gonna take what we can get today. No, that's gonna bother me. Fuck. I probably was supposed to fix the resolution on the game and I didn't because because I didn't feel like it. Who, who am I kidding? I just didn't feel like it. I'll admit to it. <sighs> Damn. Everything's going fucking off. Oh, hello, Runic. Oh, I'm happy to see you, too. There we go. There we go. <sighs> but yeah, this is meant for a resolution that's a lot smaller, I know, because when I was trying to set it up, I said... For the record. None of those are going to scare me today. I should probably just pause them. Because this game does not have a sound setting. So I... Wait. 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 I can fix this too. I can fix this too. I can. You guys. How do I open the fucking mixer? God damn it. Everything. Everything. Okay. Remember the number 
going a little lower. There we go! So, uh, by default, I... <laughs> I just adjust the whole computer's volume. I just adjust the whole thing. I'm like, all these sound alerts are really quiet. And... They would be, because, you know... <laughs> that was loud. Shit, why is that so loud now? Fuck me! This... I am not computer literate. This is ridiculous. I thought I had everything. Open. There, we'll do that. We'll do about there. And if this isn't- this isn't it, then well, I don't give a shit. We're good. We got this, guys. We got this. Yep. Ah, damn. <gasps> oh, <laughs> At least it's all little shit today that's been going wrong. <laughs> Okay. Anyways, what were what were we talking about before? I noticed that the screen didn't fit. What what was going on then? Also, I know I didn't say it, but hi, magic. What did I notice? Wait, what did I notice? Because I didn't notice anything, I swear to god. Why would the chair be facing that door? And why can't I go backwards? That would be nice. I said hello to Runic and I said hello to Eclipse. We definitely didn't get spooked by anything yet. I'm also trying to make sure that the room number is going up with every single fucking door. But I forget to pay attention. First poop definitely got you- Oh, hell no! No, no, didn't- Oh, what? I'm- 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 That's pretty cute. I'm not scared of anything. <laughs> I know something is following me, but I feel like I'm prancing through the same rooms over and over. Hopefully leaving notes as breadcrumbs will prove I'm making progress and reaching some destination. I just hope I don't run out of ink. I am dreadfully thirsty. Ah, well. Deal with it. Oh, this whole room's the elevator! Okay, I was expecting- for some reason I didn't know- Notice. I didn't look. I didn't really look. <laughs> this fucking game. Okay, so we made it through 50 floors. That was pretty easy. That's pretty fast, right? Resident Evil door animation. I have only ever played... Can I fall off? I like that's my first reaction anytime I've got a path that I have to follow is can I fall off and kill myself? I have played Resident Evil 5 because I believe because I own that one. The one with Chris punching a rock. If that's 5, I don't know. And I played a tiny bit of one where I was some medic girl on a <gasps> on a train with some other dude. Those are the only ones I've ever played. I've watched some of others being played and I will never play them. Fuck those games. Zero and Billy. Isn't the girl like Rebecca or something? 
Before I became an absolute chicken shit, I used to think that I could play things like that, and I did try. But nah, I'm an absolute chicken shit, so... Spouting, splashing, soaking. Innards ingest invoking. Nailing never stops the choking. Holy fuck! What the hell is that? It doesn't follow me, does it? I don't want to find out. Good Veronica's the best. I don't want to find out if that thing is following me. I just figure while the music is being like this, I should... ...go as quick as I can through all of this. <gasps> OH MY GOD! Oh no. Well, that explains the health bar. That explains the health bar. I thought this was some, like, baby little no scare game. This is scare. And I wanna re- <gasps> What the fuck?! No! I hate this room! <laughs> Fuck off, ghost thing. The music stopped. Does that mean he stopped? I want to catch up on my chat. I got backed up. In the middle of thinking. Oh, and good, my health does go back up. The music stopped. I think we're fine. Okay. I'm- I'm honestly hoping that I've done that every time, made that weird little box. That room 100 will be another save, so I'm kind of just trying to get to that. I'm just hoping. I'm just hoping. Anyways, uh, four is the best. Uh, have I seen four? I don't know. I've definitely seen whatever one they remade recently. And I've seen seven and eight. Seven scared me. Oh, two is one of the ones that was remade. But I've seen two of them with the Mr. X dude. Like, Tyrant, Mr. X, whatever the hell they are. Oh, Veronica. I don't know if I know that one. <laughs> and who said what? Who said what, Rhino? Who said what? See, I just- I used to not be as big of a chicken shit, and so I was willing to try to play these things. And then, one day, I realized that- n no, I thought it was a baby game. I thought it was. I didn't look into this at all, so I just assumed it was a baby game. I just assumed.
Ink. Not quite quenching my thirst. Taste is terrible. Stains are terrible. I don't think drinking it was a very romantic idea. Yeah, okay. Oh, that... That was why I was talking about the... Haunted house thing being, um... Romantic. I found something today to satisfy my unromantic thirst. I awoke today from a brief faint and found before me a bottle of red wine. I'm not sure what brand or year, for there is no label. All I gather is that it tastes strongly metallic. Okay. Keep that blood pumping. I probably should have waited to use the save till after the elevator, but that's fine. Yeah, metallic wrong. <laughs> You're dead wrong. All this romance talks remind me of Frambo or Little Misfortune. I wish that I hadn't played those because I want to play them again so bad. And they, they're just... They're that kind of dark story that would work right now. That would work right now, so I would like it. But it kind of defeats the point when I already, already have watched it and played it. <sighs> Definitely don't care about playing Sally Face, though. Oh. Mrs. Spook. Am I supposed to eat him? Okay, that was a little violent. That's a little violent. I'm all of the spook. Having too much fun just stabbing. I keep missing. That's too bad. I need more games where I have to kill people like this. This is freaking fun. Also, what is the point of this? I'm gonna- I'm just gonna let the knife run out. Motherfucker, it does! Look at that! The screen got all teeny tiny. But we we wanted to continue with the story since that was what was going on. Why does the screen change like that? Well, we'll figure that out another day. Today is not that day. That's why I don't go to the mall. Hello, Dimashi. Um, oh, the malls are all dead, anyways. You go, yeah, you'll probably get killed, but it was already dead. Went to the jump scares. I mean, there's been little jump scares, and there was that dude following that, that kind of creeped me out. Heard their secrets if you beat them? There probably are. I don't think that was wine. <laughs> ah! 
Darn. I can't fall in those. So I'm guessing it's... Got all grainy. Every 50 rooms for the... Save? Oh. Everything's fine. I didn't scream. Shit. <laughs> this was such a surprise that there would be another entry. Another actual entry. One I could admire. But then as suddenly as it came, it left. And now you disband. Your influence and inspiration will never leave me. Oh, it's the same paper. I think my neighbors heard that. Hey, Koo. Um, no, no, they didn't hear it. They didn't hear it. Nobody heard it because it didn't happen. I don't know how much longer I can go on. I haven't seen any of my previous notes, so that means either I'm getting somewhere or someone is taking them. Uh oh. What? Oh, I actually have to go a certain way? Wait. How many was that? I don't remember. One. One. Two. Okay. Why does it have to be something that directionally challenged me has to deal with? <gasps> Cat Doss! Specimen 1. Total fatalities 4. Method heart attack. Hardboard cutout figure that springs out from the walls. Proved not very effective against healthy subjects. Ah, oh, 137 fatalities. Method physical tearing. I do have a fan art tag on on my Twitter. I, I don't recall it off the top of my head though right now. But my Twitter account does say it. It does say it. Um, but thank you for stopping in and thank you once again for the raid. I hope to see you again soon. A mostly semi-solid base specter that frequently changes matter states. Proved very effective against weaker or slower subjects. Nope. Damn it. It started back at the top. I didn't expect that. Infectious bite. Test specimen being developed at GL Labs. Should prove useful when release trials have shown it is adequately effective to average subjects. Oh. Method consumption. 14th century spirit contained and relocated here. Tests have yet to reveal origins, but all relevant information has been placed into testing chamber. Proved effective, but not greatly more than previous specimens. I think that was number four. I, I, I can't remember. A creature found inside the church of a small town. Subjects are lost after contact with the specimen. Current method of killing is unknown. Proved Extremely effective against subjects with mental issues or weak wills. That's mean. Error. 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 
That actually does creep me out more than it should. That shouldn't have creeped me out, but it did. I think this is my last note. I'm going to die having never found my escape. But really, that's not true. This place was like my escape. My escape from everything else. In the end, my death is kind of romantic. Why is it going on about romantic? Oh, but anyways, the whole spiel about the romantic and then saying something about haunted house type thing could be. Uh, to go off the haunted house part, not the romantic part. They do ghost walks somewhere nearby here and I kind of want to go on one, but I'm... I've always been scared, but I think I might do it one day. Subject 5 is growing more and more restless. I told Spook we need more funds for sedatives, but she just laughed and flew into the ceiling. Without more chemicals to keep things... Keep these things docile, I'm not sure how much longer we can keep them here safely. Generic lab assistant. Can I pick up the card? I, I did. Okay. 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 I don't remember where I came from. I don't remember! I believe subject 5 is loose. The glass around its container is shattered and I can faintly hear clicking coming from the ceiling. Uh oh. I don't know what will happen now. If it's out and alive, then this is probably my last report. The clicking is getting louder now. I hope I hear it. Oh god, I don't like that. I'm just gonna power through some of it because I'm freaking- I freaked out. I also really don't like the black splotches on the scene. I swear, I thought this was like super, super tame. I don't mean it, it, it is, it is. But I thought it was going to be like even more tame than what it is. Sounds like a clock ticking. But I can at least hear it, which is what matters. I can at least hear it. Hmm? I got myself turned around there for a second. Look at that face. I don't actually know if it was. I, I don't know what he looks like. I... I'm not the most up to date. Oh, motherfucker. I really don't like that particular room because I swear to god Simon Says is not my thing. This is worse than Simon Says since it doesn't uh, tell you in advance. So I'm going down, correct? I don't see anything else down. I do like, however, I am tipping my head down trying to look down there. <laughs> Because clearly, clearly, I can see down. Uh, the music is, uh, a little unnerving. 
Oh, but we just have to make it to room 1000. I, I remember. See, where? Is this? Same games. That's lame. Hey, is that Ink Boy? I feel like that's Ink Boy. Yeah. He's a little flat. He's a little flat. I want his hat though. I also want to know what we look like. I don't know. Yeah. Pumpkin. I don't remember what game it is this makes me think of though. Just the hallways. It really does make me think of something. No. Not this shit again. I don't trust it. If I see that green slime, I don't trust anything. No, 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 no. I don't like the noise. I don't like the noise. I don't like the noise. Fuck me. Yeah, he's in here. Okay. I just don't like it. I don't like feeling pressured to go quicker. <laughs> I mean, he he's honestly, he's not a big deal, but I'm too jumpy. I'm too too jumpy. Oh my god, I'm playing Phasmophobia! I huh. Not a big deal. Not a big deal! He he's easy. He's easy. Baby game, remember baby game. <laughs> ah, fuck you! Fuck! <laughs> it's just the fucking cut out and I jumped. <laughs> wow, we're here. I'm still annoyed about that thing popping out and spooking me. I'm not gonna lie. That was the stupidest thing ever. I can hold it in. I can hold it in. Oh, mother! Where did I not go? There we go. 
<laughs> Nobody cares, map. We're done with you. We're done with you. Oh, there's still notes? This place is finally starting to affect me. I've seen enough horror movies to know how to survive a simple ghost or two. But these monsters keep getting faster and stranger. Great. That's not reassuring at all. Pausing it just so that I can do this. I'm scooting my chair closer. I'm trying to work on my posture. It's not going well. I'm also drinking water. Okay. So we should- oh wait, if we've seen that goo guy more than once now, my posture's like a seat. That's what's, that's what's been happening for me. I'm slowly turning into a seat. I'm dissolving into my chair. But that means that you're at least sitting back. Mine, mine hurts from sitting leaned forward. I've been uh, doodling a lot and doodling makes me lean forward. And yeah, I'm using that as an excuse right now. Everything just makes me sit forward. But if I lean the- or scoot the chair in really far, I have to lean back so that I'm not hitting the desk. Oh, we got a note again! In order to survive this house, I need to keep writing notes. I must do everything a central protagonist would and hope this is one of those stories. Insert obscure horror reference that no one gets and misinterprets as instructions somehow. <laughs> You've been trying to find a tablet to draw with so you can doodle but can't find anything you love yet? It depends on what kind you want. If you want one that specifically hooks up to the computer, yeah. If you if you don't, get an iPad. That's my advice. If you don't care about it being hooked to the computer, get an iPad. <laughs> Mine has to be hooked to the computer. Like, it doesn't work not hooked to the computer. But it's a decent sized screen. I'd still want to upgrade it though. One day. But, once that hooked to the computer, the cords are a fucking pain in the ass. But if- What? It is quite handy. And personally, I would say just buy one on eBay. Rather than buying it new, just buy a used one or whatever. Ah, fuck you! Well, I started to slide down in the chair. I suppose that works. Your computer area is a wreck. Yeah. <laughs>darkness is slowly consuming us now. I don't think our rituals will appease it much longer. How were we supposed to know this would happen? Where's the jump scare redeem? I don't have one. Thank god. Because we don't need it. It's not really our fault. We just did what mother has told us to do in this sort of situation. Unsubbing. What's the makeup proper name? I don't have it turned on right now, mostly because I forgot. 
Mother is not pleased with us, but how were we supposed to know that the girl wasn't pure? Oh. Mostly because I forgot to turn it back on, but also because of the way this game is set up. Computer-wise, that would be a huge pain in the ass to have on right now. Thank god I didn't turn it on. But anyways, the whole point is, make a prop is I will open up Microsoft Paint or whatever the fuck you want to call it. I'll open up Paint and I'll draw something, hand draw something. A prop. Like, there's a little teeny tiny pumpkin on my necklace right now. That was one. But that one I splurged and did with other things. I've made a cowboy hat before. There's some mask thing that I wear every now and then. That was one. So it's basically you just tell me what you want. And the bucket. Yep, there was the bucket. <gasps> oh! Basically, when it's active, it's just you tell me what to make and I'll draw a really- <gasps> Fuck you! Shitty version and paint. Oh, Jesus Christ. I don't like this. Oh, I don't like this. Oh. My good god. Oh. No, no, no. <gasps> oh my god, please. This is fucking horrible shit. Why would you do this? Why would they do this? Oh, Jesus. Is this what taking drugs is like? That is a good question. One we may never know. Or if we do know, we're not sharing with the class. Oh. Um. What the fuck? <laughs> What the f- What the fuck is this game? I'm so confused! It's definitely not a glitch. They- they- they did that. I don't know why they did that, but they did that. Like, I know what I'm looking, but I don't know what I'm looking. Yo, what the fuck is this game? One day, I'll actually do research about games that I want to play before I play them, rather than just winging it. That sounds like an awful lot of work, so for now, we're just gonna keep winging games. Like, I have a bunch of games on 
my list. Well, like I said, I also have those games on my desktop. I don't actually know what most of them are. It's been so long. I looked at the description for the game, went, that sounds interesting, bought the game, and now I don't know what they are. Or, like, I know that there's some, um, um, more RPG-ish type, but I don't know what they're actually about. I just know I wanted them. So. You're a fucking whore. You made it this far. That's, uh, that's great. Yeah, that's great. I shall grant you a gift for your progress. Yeah, damn right you will. So just keep going. I like her, uh, painting back there. I like what what I did. I'm just like, uh, it says look behind you? Fuck no! <laughs> We're gonna creep behind the little fucking box. Okay, pumpkin. I did see that there was a password spot so that in the future you can skip to specific levels. Not that we're going to need to do that. I'm going to play the one save, so. But pumpkin. Pumpkin is the password. If you want to skip straight to floor 250, you use that password and cheat. Like the little cheaters we all are. Video games, it's not cheating. This game is classic. I wouldn't know. Like, like I said, I I've owned it for so long. It was this Sinister Halloween, Sophie's C Curse. I mean, I know what Boogeyman 2 is because I played the first one and I decided I don't need to play both uh, this month. Because I've already played the first one. Oh yeah, there's notes. Well, I still haven't died, so it appears I might be the protagonist, but I'm not entirely sure. I am hope I'm not some side character that leaves notes for pointless exposition. Also, I found a strange computer that gave descriptions of the monsters, and it seems like they're called effective based on how many people they kill. Um, Boogeyman was done... I don't know if it was last year or if it was two Halloweens ago I streamed Boogeyman. It's essentially Five Nights at Freddy's ish. Ish. But the Boogeyman is coming and he'll come at you from the windows and the vents and the closet and under the bed. And you've got things like the weather making noises so you don't necessarily hear him creeping up on you. Yeah. I think the effectiveness of the specimens is also somehow related to the souls of the people they kill somehow. Anyway, I'm still alive and strong, but I feel like the inmost cave of my journey lies ahead. I wonder what the antagonists will look like. I hope they're cute. I am getting attacked by a fly. Why do flies randomly, like, attack you? Are you an antagonist? Nah. Nah. I am clearly the heroine of my own story. Uh oh. The path changed. We're now gonna have to use the right side? If you're ever with me in a spooky situation, don't let me, uh... Like, a real life or death type thing. Definitely don't trust me because I will trip you so that I can get away. You don't have to be fast. You just have to be faster than your friends or able to trip one of them so you are faster. I just realized that I never had a mentor figure, trial, or leaving home scene. That means the story isn't following the archetype to make me a traditional hero. Which means I can be killed off. 
Well, it was nice for a little while at least. It's mean. It's mean to ensure my own survival. But it, my survival is more important to me than your survival. I'm sorry. I I I value me first. And it's a sacrifice I'm willing to make to trip you to get away. <laughs> I have the ever so slight impression you're not actually sorry. <laughs> Look, you just have to know your death wasn't in vain. I got away. <laughs> I didn't even get to read that. I don't know what it was. I freaked out. Did it stay with the right? Okay, thank God. And that fly is still attacking me, and this is not fun. I seriously, I need to know why. Why do flies randomly attack people? What is the point? What is the point? Also, if you go through certain doors, do you like skip rooms or something? Because why are there so many doors? Just give me one door if it really doesn't make a difference. I'm just curious. I'm just genuinely curious. Where's the warp pipe? Yeah! I, I just want a warp pipe, please. Eat our skin. Man, I went and got, I got some apple juice today and it was not even good apple juice. So I already had bad luck and then I get this apple juice that is not very good. <laughs> it's like, damn it, that's even more bad luck. Uh, Chris Pratt isn't the game, so no more pipe. Man, if Chris Pratt was in this game, I would be a happy little camper. Day three. Hallucinations are manifesting at increasing intervals. The cause is probably sleep deprivation or a gas that is being pumped into the rooms. I have not yet been injured, so I don't think the cause is a brain injury or blood clot. He's so cool. Chris Pratt is probably my favorite of the Chris's. I like how we, we discussed Chris Pratt in, what, Magic Stream a while ago? All the Chris's or whatever? I like I like how now now I want to discuss the Chris's. It is my turn to voice my opinion. Evans is my least favorite. I will say it. He's got too much of the preppy type going, even when he's got the facial hair and stuff. He's got too much of the preppy type going. Pratt is probably my favorite. And Hemsworth, Hemsworth is pretty fucking hot too sometimes, so. I mean, Evans is still good looking, don't get me wrong. He he is still good looking, but, yeah, preppy type. You know, like, the cool kid in high school, football team star type thing going on all the time. You know, you know all that, preppy type. <laughs> Hemsworth when he's got the long hair is good Pratt Pratt's just good always so I'm, I'm happy but Chris Evans is America's ass guys with too much ass is a little creepy just saying they can have some ass but he's got a little too much ass just a little bit I'm starting to lose track of time. The battery on my phone became very low, so I delegated to save it in case I find an exit. I want to hit that fly so bad, but it's on my monitor. 
Straight. 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 One. Two. Three. Fucker. One. Two. Three. I didn't vote for that house. That's true. We didn't vote. The ass America needed, but not the ass we deserved. I think it's because I like, um... I like the characters Pratt plays a lot is why. I'm just checking if I can access the next pages. See? Look, I can! Specimen 7. Specimen is constantly changing form and attributes depending on subject's personality, but most common form resembles a wall of moving and anatomy symbols. Only effective on subjects with past trauma or a history of psychological issues. Wait. This one, this one's like a thing I we saw in, I saw in a movie recently. I don't remember what it was. Floating figure that appeared in a test chamber a few years after it was filled with what was believed to be just be unusually violent deer. Mhm. Mm specimen seems to engulf subjects and absorb them into its torso region. Proved extremely effective on violent subjects. I told you deer are fucking evil. I told you guys. I've told everybody. You're our fucking evil. Small skull shaped mass of clay that seemed to gain more form as subjects were taken, 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 taken. The specimen was deemed too hard to contain and was killed and dismantled by GL Labs. Uh, we saw something that was kind of similar. It was almost like it was- it wasn't Norwegian. Swedish? I don't know. There's a lot of different ones that have a deer-like creature. A worm-like creature that inhibits the old, old rundown GL labs. A genetically modified eel that was supposed to be extremely violent but instead was very passive. Though not effective, it was kept up as a pet until the facility it was abandoned due to specimen Oh. I'm not sure which specimen. A floating red figure that was found inside a secret area below a large abandoned corporate office once owned by a restaurant franchise. The specimen is extremely violent and also seems to leave the house at will despite various containment methods. Victims vanish on contact with specimen, but sometimes remains of the victims have been found inside the testing chamber days later. Proof not effective as victim souls do not remain after contact. Yeah, these are like different SCPs, aren't they? I should, uh, I should... I should go back to LobCorp because of that, actually. Golden Corral Knight, aka Jeff Foxworthy. What? But just afterwards, he came running to the river crying and wailing that his children were being drowned. He dove into the river trying to save his possessions. The townspeople, bitter and still angry, watched him frantically thrash and dive into the river until he never came back to the surface of the water. Oh, I was supposed to say this one. Let's, let's reread this. Let's reread this. We didn't read that first one. Hold on. One day, a strange merchant came to town. He sold handmade puppets and trinkets, and all the children loved his store and his gifts. 
but the town couldn't support his store because the other shops were failing. Other shopkeepers became jealous, so one night some of the townspeople took all his puppets and threw them in the river. But just afterwards he came running to the river crying and wailing that his children were being drowned. He dove into the river trying to save his possessions. The townspeople, bitter and still angry, watched him frantically thrash and dive into the winter river until he never came back to the surface. There we go. Now we read it. Ever see those ads where they have him, have him in golden armor in the corner of the screen? It was said it was owned by a restaurant, so I connected the dots. Okay, this side first. Although not what they wanted, the shopkeepers were satisfied. Years later, the children of the town began to go missing, and as more and more children disappeared, people began to find more and more puppets in the forest and around the river. Yeah. These puppets seemed almost to look like the missing children sometimes. Hey there. Yeah. Well, that one kind of scared the hiccup out of me. Hello, Ricker. Like, it, it... It kind of made it stop. So, good job. Good job. Not deal with the puppet dude. <laughs> no, ow. I'm going to die. I'm actually going to die in this game. To become a puppet is to rid oneself of the pain and harshness of choice. Now nothing you do is your fault. Now you belong to something I didn't get to read. Dead Space 2. I've never played a Dead Space game. Are, are the Dead Space games scary at all? By, by chance, but for the record. I really don't like them going for the eye. I really don't like that. I feel like I have access to the Dead Space games is why I asked. But I don't actually know if I do. Well, why can't I save it again? I'm gonna save it again. Just a repairman on a ship. Well... That's like saying... You could say that about alien isolation. You're just an engineer on a ship. Take that. What now? It's 
something about the eye. It, it just, it's a little... Too close for comfort. Oh shit, it's still that setup. Wait, how far back am I then? Whatever. I thought I wasn't that far back, but... I get the feeling... that I'm gonna be a chicken here. Okay, so I just have to be able to run faster than him. Dead Space 1's long. Well, that's fine. It's one of those, if it's too spooky for me type things, I play something else in between. But that's all dependent upon if I actually do have access to it, because I think I have access to it. Move! It doesn't always move in the beginning and it freaks me out. game. That has got to do the eye thing again. Fuck. Mm -hmm. I don't even- yeah, I don't know where he was getting me from. I probably should have paid attention to something. Oh, now you belong to something. You belong to me. Mm -hmm. I don't even care about putting in my name. I don't care. Fuck you, game. He's one of the hardest? Like, what the fuck am I supposed to do? Do I just have to move faster? That's not a good thing with me. I'm too jittery. It's just more bad luck, that's all. That's what we're gonna chalk it up to. It's just more of the bad luck. One and two are great. Didn't play three, but here it's awful. Right now, there's games I wanna play. The problem is I have to purchase them right now. So I keep hoping that there will be like a sale on Steam or something and I can get them because I really want to play some. Yeah. A Halloween sale. I think that's actually how I got the games in my list in the first place. gotta look for him next time. Well, we can try that. We can try looking for him because the worst that's going to happen is he stabs us in the eyeball again. Fucking whore. Hello, soul. I am, uh, having a bad luck day. How are you doing?
I think I went the wrong way. Come on! It's like if I keep an eye on him. Ha! <laughs> keep an eye on him. It's okay. Fuck this dude. Yeah, I mean... I at least if I could skip this, I would be, you know, content. But because I have to sit through through that, sit there through that every time, I'm creeped the fuck out. Yeah. I also wish it would save with the elevator down there, but whatever. Yeah. Dead Space Three did what Resident Evil Four did. Ah, uh, again, I wouldn't know. Moves fast as fuck. Yeah, this is this, this shit is kind of really pissing me off. It's like I just have to keep an eye on him. Not get too close. Keep an eye on him for 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 for. I really wanted to go down the hallway. It just keeps going. I'm at least switching things up, making this game a little more interesting for us, right? Also, what the hell is going on? Why why am I not reaching the end? I'm just checking. If I go back this way, am I going to... Well, that tells you that that's an instant don't go that way. Okay. Whatever. Let's get back to the subject at hand. Maybe the game will have pity on me. No, the game won't have pity on me. This game sucks. More precisely though, it's, it is me. It is a me thing. Like, I think I'm okay in the little rooms ignoring him. Or ignoring the fact that he could be there. Because I'm moving so fast through him. But when the room is big and he can get me. That one was my fault. I moved a little slow. Come 
come on, 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 come on. The game had mercy on me. This game is having fucking mercy on me. Okay, if I push it in the move forward button too fast before the game screen loads, then I struggle. I also don't think he's still chasing me, but I'm scared. So we're gonna pretend he is. Yeah, I don't think he is. Okay, we're almost to the save. We're almost to the goddamn save. It took us how many times? The thing was very kind to me and had mercy on my soul. I don't even get to see- oh no. There wasn't a save. <gasps> there wasn't a save?! Hold on, let me get the water bottle out of the way. You don't want to go to work tonight? Ah, <sighs> work sucks. This is procedurally generated? What exactly does that mean? Just, yeah, just don't go. You have a migraine. Makes them up as you go. Thank God, because that one fucking room. I could not do. I could not do it. As it is, I'm trying to just skip to... Oh no. going on. I don't even know what's going on. I can't look at the chat though. I'm too fucking panicked. I'm like literally just walking and spamming E. want to make it to 400 and on 400 I'm allowed to look at the chat again because at 400 I should in theory finally hit my fucking save point I 
if it's not, I'm gonna- Oh, thank God. Not having fun? No. No, no. This is what happens on Batch Room Tea. <laughs> also, hello, Kaden. <sighs> yeah, um, I was not having fun, and that was... I hate those textures, but I just really wanted to get through because of that fucking- I don't want to deal with the eye dude again. Clearly didn't want to deal with the eye dude again. You doing okay, bro? I thought it was the HD one, but I actually don't know. Day five. I can't remember. Why did I come here? Was there ever a purpose? I believe death is steadily approaching me now. The hallucinations can hurt me. I'm out of provisions, and I'm having sudden, violent heart palpitations. Stop playing when you have no fun- Yeah, I'm here to suffer for your guys' fucking amusement. You should be happy! I am- I am suffering for you! This- this suffering is all for you! That's why I played Visage, fuck that shit. Stay in a room for two and a half and you'll get an easter egg. Um, I might do that on my own. I don't want to just sit still in one of these rooms. I swear to God, I really don't. This game's unsettling enough. And see, by me doing this, you don't have to do most of it. I want to try to get 500. We're gonna get to 500 and we're gonna be happy about it. <laughs> if, I wish there was a punch button. I wanna punch this shit so bad. Every time it goes off on me. <laughs> oh, balls. Well, there's a paper. Day seven. I can't tell the real from unreal anymore. My limbs refuse to move the way I want them to. I feel like I'm wading in a deep river that is always flowing against my direction. Now I will lay down and let the river flow over me. Oh, let me- let it guide me to its end. I know where I'm going anyway. This place, this entire place, is just a gyrating screaming rock in the vastness of an infinite kingdom. I'm going to rest now. I'll be watching over you. I know absolutely nothing about the game, so I'm trying to... I'm kind of just learning. We'll see what happens. I have to close the window while I'm streaming because as you've noticed, there's dogs every now and then. And that's the best way I can muffle the dog. And I'm so bummed because I want to open the windows. But shit, it, it, it's going to be like 90 tomorrow. What the hell is this shit? It's October. October. And 90? Fuck that. The threshold of consciousness. We all know I don't like looking at the ground, so I'm surprised I actually read that. <gasps> well, hello there. Are you lost, little one? I'm gonna pet you. This is interesting, isn't it? Why the fuck nya? Huh? Why the fuck nya? I, I, I think it has to specifically be that colored door nya. This place is so weird, yeah. Wow. 
Why is that pointing at Minya? But the point is, there is a beautiful, fluffy little kitty, Nya. Beautiful, fluffy little kitty, Nya. Door did I go through? Ah! Fine, Nya. Put on your mask. Follow the group, Nya. Oh, it's like an office building type thing. Okay, yeah. This is weird, uh, but all right now. All right now. That, that's the room I came out of now. The cat is not evil, Nya. When have you ever known a cat to be evil, Nya? Hmm? Hmm? That's right. You've never known a cat to be evil, Nya. <laughs> Everything about cats scream kind and trusting souls, Nya. Um, I didn't even use the door, Nya. Wait, this whole time I could have just walked into the door now? Oh, Nya. Ah, uh, that was the wall of whatever, Nya. I should have known that was coming, yeah. I don't know. A cat once told me she would trip me up if our lives were in danger, yeah. Well, it's a good thing I don't know any actual cats like that, yeah. I know perfectly normal human girls that can use magical powers and get cat ears, yeah. But, you know, she's definitely not a cat, yeah. That was rather unfortunate, though. I don't... Do I need to go through all of those other rooms again, Nya? I hate when it pops me out and I'm like, in the wall, Nya. I also hate when a door is locked, Nya. Cat's evil? No. Morally ambiguous? Yes, Nya. Nya. I don't like the rooms this time, Nya. That's okay, Nya. I wonder how it decides when the floor is going to be missing, Nya. How does it decide this, Nya? Well, hello there. Are you lost, little one? No, Nya. I'm cool, Nya. I actually used to be called Little One by somebody, Nya. So that's kind of entertaining for me. Nya. That was many, 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 many years ago, though, Nya. He only called me that because I was shorter than him, Nya. Yeah? He was one of the best dudes ever, Nya. Yeah? That was, uh, way back in high school band days, Nya. Yeah? Shit, Nya. Yeah. I'm worried with the wall thing that if I crash into a dead end, I'm gonna get fucked over again, Nya. Yeah? But yeah, it was one of those 
where it's like, oh, you know, I'm gonna use my height to my advantage to prove a point. But I didn't have a height to prove a point, yeah. It's horrible. But hey, it gives me good memories though, yeah? I miss high school band, yeah. Hey, I am a perfectly average height though, so for the record... Fine, yeah. Day five. I can't remember. Why did I come here? It has. Was there ever a purpose? I believe death is steadily approaching me now. The hallucinations can hurt me. I'm out of provisions. I'm having sudden violent heart palpitations. Wait, we read that note? She's lying. I am 5'3". That is a perfectly respectable female height. What is that noise? Oh no. Something is in here, but I don't know what. Sorry, can't hear you from all the way down there. Shut the fuck up! Anybody over the height of- actually 5'11", I'm gonna say. Anyone over the height of 5'11", is a freak of nature and needs to be eliminated. Actually, even that might be a little too much. It might might need to be like 5'10". <laughs> Eliminate by the small people. You eliminate them? How are you gonna reach the high shelves? I already don't have somebody to reach the high shelves for me. And you know what I use? A goddamn stepladder. Also, they have this thing called high heels, which I don't usually wear, but... Worst comes to worst, I can. Uh, yes, I do. I do need a step ladder. I can't. I was looking at my um, house, at the kitchen cupboards, and I can't reach the top shelf very well. I can reach it. I just not very well, and I definitely can't see what's up there. Okay, there's no news. No, no new specimens. Okay. I want to ban you so bad, but I'm not going to. That's a little extreme. But just know I considered it for posting that. Oh, I know what's chasing me. Trippy as fuck shit. Mad cause small. Banning just means I'm right. You're definitely not right. Mm mm. They just need to make everything smaller, height wise. It's fine. There's no reason to make things, you know, nine feet tall or whatever the frick it is.
I don't know if that one's stuck on the path or not. And I really don't care to find out. So I'm like trying to run through as fast as I can so I don't have to find out. <gasps> no! That is not fair. That is not fair. They cheated. They cheated. I can't tell where I am. Oh. Mad because small, jealous of tall. I don't know what's going on. I hate how I have to let go of the sprint so that it'll recover. I mean, it makes sense, but I still don't have to like it. Panic me wants to just button smash the whole thing. Button smash and be done with it. Move, move, move. Ah, move, move, move! Okay, we've read that note too. Almost safe. Almost safe. Oh. Okay, it switched. It switched. I don't like when it switches. That's okay. I don't have to like it. Oh, thank God, that was... That was easy, okay. Well, here you are, alive and still here. You just keep on going, don't you? Well, the next door has been fixed up for you. So enjoy and keep moving on. You Thanks. Fleshy live one. Yeah, I'm a little fleshy live one. Okay. Water. And the fly came back. Okay, it's we, we got a little longer. We can do a little bit more. I was I was looking at the clock. Cuz I I know that we're going to be doing this over too. <sighs> Mostly for my own sanity than anything. Like, yeah, i am not screamed a ton, but I've still got enough going in this one that I will be a lot more pleased to divide it in half. But there was writing on it. Whatever. Wait, what? Wait, what? What happened to my rooms? Why? What happened to my rooms? Why? 
Why am I on room 59? Error 002313FB gel cannot release twice. Exit through express. I'd rather not look around. Thank you. Express tunnel. Yeah, well, why? Uh, that gave me Pokemon vibes quite a bit. Now that I think about it. We're in the 500s. Which still is not right. We should be in the 600s. Because I was trying to do 6 to 700 right now. Oh wait, it was? Okay, I thought it was, for some reason I thought, yeah. I was trying to get to 600. I'm doing 500 to 600. That's what I was doing. So that I could have, um... 400 rooms for the next time. Was my goal. That was, that was my, my goal. This thing. Fuck. I think that's kind of funny that that is probably my least favorite room. Not not because it's difficult, but because it's directions. <gasps> oh, I like all the random skeleton parts. I had to say that it was my least favorite. I really did. I had to say it. I don't like that they randomly have one of those doors locked. I wonder if there's any rhyme or reason to the multiple choice rooms. I, I wonder that too. Oh, there's the game I played and it was a shooty one. Fuck, what was that? That's kind of what it makes me think of. There was like scarecrow men. I don't know. I want to say harvest. Harvester or something. I don't remember. For a while, I thought I had really escaped this place, but despite the trees and flora, I think this is actually just another room. I did, however, find deer, 
so I might at least get to eat. They make some strange sounds though. Fuck me. I don't know what they are, but those are definitely not deer. I tried sneaking up on one the other day to kill for food, but it saw me as soon as I got close. I was barely able to get away from the thing. I've managed to board up most of them. Hopefully I can find another way out of here. Why? Why does this game have to have deer? Of Yes, it's gonna be the the motherfucking deer god. Ah! They were fucking chasing me. Seriously though, why deer? Why did this game- Why did this game have to have deer as one of the enemies? I don't know what one did this. I just know that now I'm panicked. <laughs> okay. Crest into a wall. Crest into a wall. There might not even be anything chasing me, right? But I don't want to find out that nothing is chasing me. I don't want to find out. How many rooms are there? It said a thousand. That's what that's what they said in the beginning was a thousand rooms. Not trying to do six hundred tonight. Because they also get more challenging as you go. At least for me. From what I've seen. So I'd like at least to get to six hundred. wasn't that bad. I don't know if that pattern has been the same every time or not because I can't remember the pattern by the time I get back to that door again. Oh! Oh! Better ingredients, better pasta. That's the power of the Home Depot. <laughs> Uh, 
I think... I think I am gonna stop there for the evening just because my throat does hurt today. And we'll do this again and finish it next time. We'll do 400 rooms. I, I'm guessing. I mean, I had fun. It was a short stream for me. It was quick. But I had a lot of fun, so... Hopefully you guys all did, too. <laughs> I'm trying to get... Oh, I have to pause the game. That's what's going on there. The game has to be paused to be in the other windows. 400 will definitely go quicker than the 600, I'm sure. Oh, of course, of course. And on that very slight chance that it doesn't take us very long, we will start another one. But, um, yeah, I'm, I'm expecting it to take about another two hours. And I just... I don't have that in, t in me tonight. I don't... I don't. We, we had definitely only 400. I just, I just don't have it in me. Today was a weird day. I just don't have it in me. <laughs> oh. But I really wanted to play some of it. I was really excited to do it and I'm glad I did. But fuck. Oh. I know where we're gonna go. It is... My half brother Cliff's birthday. How would you rate the game so far? I mean, I'm assuming it was a cheap game when I bought it. So that right there instantly boosts it up. Because I am entertained. I am very entertained. Uh but if it's out of let's say if it's out of like uh if it's out of five, we'll say it's like a three point five. We'll, we'll say it's a three point five. Because I, it is putting me on edge a little bit. If it was out of 10, it's probably a 6, though. You know. But it's pretty fun. It's pretty fun. I'm, I'm glad I am doing it. Like I said, they're all spooky games this month, so. But we're all gonna go see Cliff. I think it's his birthday, it said. And he, he's, he's, he's one of my half-siblings, so we'll go see him. We'll go see him. But thank you guys for joining me. I know it was a short one, but I, it was worth it. It was worth it, even if it was just for a little bit. And we all got to see each other and have fun together. And I look forward to seeing you guys all again real soon. I never do a raid message, so whatever the hell you want. I never remember to think about that. <laughs> yeah, there you go. It can just be eeps. It can just be eeps. All right, thank you guys, and I'll see you all later. Bye-bye.